。你知咩奖罚？你想学，我教你啊。The first Kung Fu Hustle film got a lot of love from critics and pulled in $17 million in North America and $84 million worldwide. Pretty impressive for a smaller budget movie. Now it's making a comeback with a new story and even more comedy. However, this time Stephen Chow won't be in it. So let's dive into everything we know about the upcoming Kung Fu Hustle 2. For those who might not be familiar, Kung Fu Hustle is a 2004 Chinese martial arts action comedy film that's as wild as it is entertaining. Directed, produced, and co-written by Stephen Chow, who also stars in the lead role, the film features a talented cast, including Wang Shengyi. Yun Hua, Yun Qi, Danny Chan Kwok Kwan, and Lung Siu Lung. The story is all about a deadly neighborhood gang, a poor village with some unexpected heroes, and an aspiring gangster on a tough journey to discover who he really is. The martial arts choreography was supervised by the legendary Yun Wu Ping. This film was a joint effort between Hong Kong and mainland Chinese companies, and was shot in Shanghai. After Stephen Chow's Shaolin Soccer became a hit, production company Star Overseas teamed up with Columbia Pictures Asia in 2002 to develop Kung Fu Hustle. The movie also brings back a number of retired actors who were famous in 1970s Hong Kong action cinema, and it's often compared to iconic Wu Jia films like Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Hero. The film's cartoonish special effects, paired with traditional Chinese music, are among its most standout features. Released on December 23, 2004 in China and January 25, 2005 in the U.S., Kung Fu Hustle was a hit. It received rave reviews and earned 17 million in North America and 84 million internationally. It ranked 10th among the highest-grossing foreign language films in the U.S. and was the top foreign language film in the country in 2005. The movie scooped up several awards, including six Hong Kong Film Awards and five Golden Horse Awards. To celebrate its 10th anniversary, Kung Fu Hustle was re-released in 3D in October 2014 across Asia and America. Set in 1940 Shanghai, Kung Fu Hustle follows petty crooks Sing and Bone as they aspire to join the infamous Axe Gang, led by the ruthless Brother Sum. They attempt to extort the residents of a dilapidated slum called Pigsty Alley by pretending to be gang members. Their impersonation draws the real Axe Gang's attention. Resulting in a confrontation, however, the slums' residents Cooley, Taylor, and Donut turn out to be skilled kung fu masters and quickly defeat the gang's reinforcements. To avoid further conflict, the slums' landlady expels them. Brother Sum captures Sing and Bone, intending to kill them for their deception. The pair narrowly escape, impressing Brother Sum, who offers them a chance to join the Axe Gang if they prove themselves by committing a murder. Sing reflects on his past, recalling how a vagrant tricked him into buying a martial arts pamphlet. Despite practicing the techniques, he was beaten while trying to help a mute girl named Fong, which led him to believe that heroes never succeed. Sing and Bone's attempt to kill the landlady fails, and they're chased away. Sing finds refuge in a traffic pulpit, where his injuries heal mysteriously. Meanwhile, Brother Sum hires two harpists with a magical Gu Zheng to defeat the Kung Fu masters. The harpists succeed against Cooley, Taylor, and Donut, but are ultimately overpowered by the landlady and her husband, the landlord. Sing tries to rob an ice cream vendor, only to discover she is Fong. When she offers him a lollipop, reminding him of his failed attempt to help her, he rejects it in shame. Brother Sum then tasks Sing with freeing the Beast, a legendary assassin from a mental asylum. Sing succeeds and brings the Beast to the Axe Gang's headquarters. Brother Sum is initially skeptical of the beast, but is soon impressed when the beast catches a bullet midair. The beast fights the landlady and landlord, resulting in a stalemate. Realizing his errors, Sing confronts the beast, who retaliates fiercely. The landlady and landlord rescue the unconscious Sing, and the beast kills Brother Sum, taking over the Axe Gang. The landlady and landlord heal Sing, discovering he is a natural kung fu prodigy. With his newfound abilities, Sing defeats the Axe Gang and the Beast. He uses the Buddhist palm technique to overcome the Beast, who admits defeat. Sing and Bone then open a candy store with Fong's lollipop as their logo. Fong visits and they embrace. 
The vagrant who sold Singh the martial arts pamphlet is seen outside, continuing his sales. The ending of Kung Fu Hustle paves the way for an exciting sequel by resolving the original film's narrative while opening up new possibilities for Kung Fu Hustle 2. In the final scenes of the first film, Singh's transformation from a petty gangster to a kung fu hero reaches a satisfying conclusion. His journey from an inept crook to a skilled fighter culminates in his defeat of the beast and the establishment of a new life with Bone and Fong. Singh and Bone's decision to open a candy store with Fong's lollipop as their logo symbolizes their fresh start and marks the end of their criminal pursuits. The sequel setting in the modern day offers a significant departure from the 1940s Shanghai backdrop of the original film. This shift provides an opportunity to explore new themes and settings that resonate with contemporary audiences. The modern era could introduce current social issues, urban environments, and updated cultural references, offering a fresh perspective while retaining the humor and action that defined the first film. The change in time period also allows for new characters and scenarios that can enhance the narrative and keep it engaging for both new and returning fans. Stephen Chow's decision to focus on a different cast and a female lead in the sequel suggests a major shift in the story's focus. The introduction of a new lead character, particularly a female, opens up diverse storytelling opportunities and allows for fresh dynamics in the film's action and comedy sequences. This new protagonist could bring unique kung fu skills, motivations, and personal struggles, enriching the narrative and providing a different perspective compared to Singh's journey. Singh's legacy and his evolution from a villainous wannabe to a kung fu master could be explored further in the sequel. The impact of his past actions and the growth he experienced could influence how he interacts with new characters and faces new challenges. His expertise in Kung Fu, as well as his experiences with the Axe Gang and the Beast, might shape his approach to modern-day conflicts and adversaries. The sequel could delve into how Singh's past informs his present, and how his new life as a candy store owner intersects with the world of martial arts. With Brother Sum defeated and the Beast eliminated, Kung Fu Hustle 2 has the opportunity to introduce new villains who could bring their own unique powers and motivations to the story. These new antagonists might present fresh threats and challenges, creating exciting new conflicts and allowing for innovative action sequences. The sequel could build on the original's blend of humor, action, and heart, while adding new layers to the story and its characters. The latest update on Kung Fu Hustle 2 is that Stephen Chow has officially confirmed he's returning to direct the sequel. Chow announced the project while promoting his movie The New King of Comedy, though he had originally planned to make the sequel back in 2005. His busy schedule, however, delayed the project significantly. Chow has mentioned that Kung Fu Hustle 2 will not be a direct continuation of the original story. Instead, it will be set in the modern day, and Chow is expected to only make a cameo appearance. He also hinted that the sequel would feature a female lead and introduce a lot of new characters and actors. This new direction means that Kung Fu Hustle 2 will have an entirely fresh cast and potentially a new setting. Although no casting announcements have been made yet, it's likely Chow will select from today's pool of well-known martial arts stars. While plot details are still unknown, the sequel is expected to be as vibrant and action-packed as the original, despite the shift in time period and story focus. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.